All right, Michael. So there's my black junction box underneath the panels. Each one of those represents either a positive or a negative coming off. They go into the junction box. You see that way over there? The gray one on the back of the rack? That's where they go. Now also notice the green grounding wire that goes on those, uh, here they call them seats or chairs I guess. And those are attached to uh, the grounding hole of each of the uh, panels. And it's all wired together. And that goes over there. Alright, so we'll go over there and give that a look. Okay, so remember, we get a positive and negative coming into that box. And we've got the ground working its way up and around over here. Positive and negative is in the conduit. The ground is still on the exterior. Now the ground is also attached to the rack here. I don't know if it's attached anywhere else on the rack. Uh, so then what's inside the combiner box? So you got the hots, obviously. The negatives and then down there the uh, the ground and that little label in there says equipment ground and it's showing uh, to earth there and then from here uh, let's see I combine that's my hot combined uh, I guess this is my common combined and this is my ground and all three of those then go into that conduit and are uh, homed back to the uh, inverter where I've got three lugs and each lug obviously receives one of the uh, different uh, wires now uh, you know I'm curious about the fact that it's grounded to the rack and we're about 50 feet away from the grounding rod for the uh, the building. Let's go over and look at that. So the conduit on the right is where my grounding rod comes in. Or I guess my grounding wire. The rod is uh, over here. I told you they dug a trench and then pounded into uh, grounding rods and bent them over and attached wire to them and then ran that into here. That's all I know. Okay, there you go.